Here we are again at the new project dialog that pops up as soon as you start PicPal. I will go ahead and populate the project name fields as well as the project details fields. Please note that this dialog also shows you the location of the projects folder as well as the output folder. Both folder paths are fully customizable while you are still in the original new project dialog box. However, once you have created the specific project, you cannot change the project folder. However, you can still change the output folder. Just click the folder link at the end of the output folder, and it gives you the ability to change the path for this specific project. So, what is an output folder and what is a projects folder? The output folder will be easy to remember. It is where PicPal outputs your resized photos, reports, zip files, etc. If you created a report or resized some photos, the resulting files would be deposited into a folder named PicPal Output. And this folder will likely reside on your desktop if you let the default file path settings apply. The Projects folder, to which there is also a path that can be customized, will be located by default in the root of the C drive. The Projects folder is where PicPal creates the individual project folders for each of your projects. So, if you created a project called Smith, John and imported 100 photos, then those 100 original photos and any information that you entered, such as the claim number, policy number, notes on all the photos, etc., will be stored in this folder. Remember, these photos are the original copies, and PicPal will never make any changes directly to them. Any photos that contain changes will be deposited into the PicPal output folder referenced before and not inside this folder. Keeping this folder allows you to be able to revisit the original files and resize differently or print a different report. However, the downside to putting this folder into your C drive is that the hard drive space required to hold an ever-expanding list of high-quality photos can be large. If you think that you will need more space, then it may be best to make this folder default to a permanent larger drive on your system. If you don't need some of the photos anymore, then don't be afraid to delete the project folders for those specific clients. However, please make sure you have backups of your photos somewhere else because this will delete them permanently. You can change the paths for both the Projects folder and the PicPal output folder inside the default global settings so that all future projects will be created in the same place. I like leaving the output folder to the desktop as it makes it quick for me to locate the processed photos. The project folder is, by default, located in the root of the C drive. For now, we will not alter the file paths. We are now inside the main PicPal screen. If it is minimized a bit in the middle of your screen, then just maximize the app at the top right of the screen. Now. Let's go to the top left of the screen and click the settings link. I will be doing a separate video on the settings menu, but I did want to go ahead and show you the location of the global default for the projects folder and the output folder. You can change these here and all future projects will then use the paths that you have specified. However, be aware that changing the output path here does not change the path for your existing open project. You will need to do that separately here. And remember, once a project has been created, you cannot change the path of the project folder for that specific project. You can only change the path of the output folder. Well, 
That is the end of this video. Please spend the short amount of time that it will take to view all of the PicPal training videos.